Here is the humerus. This is the bone found in the um, upper arm. Here we have the head of the humerus, a nice smooth surface. This is what articulates in the glenoid cavity. Um, lateral to the head, the head points medially. Lateral to the head, we find the greater tubercle, this rough spot. It's the most superior one. Inferior to that slightly is the lesser tubercle, another rough spot. And between the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle, we find the intertubercular groove. We find uh, tendons lie in this groove. Greater tubercle, intertubercular groove, lesser tubercle. If you take, go from the greater tubercle and go down to about halfway down the diaphysis, you will find another rough spot. This rough spot is called the deltoid tuberosity. This is where the deltoid muscle attaches to the bone here. Uh, so here's the, the uh, deltoid tuberosity. That takes care of the proximal end of the bone. Now let's look at the distal end. On the distal end, we find some distinctive, um, smooth, knuckle-like projections. Knuckle-like projections are called condyles, and here's one, and here's one, but they have their own names. This condyle right here that kind of looks like a spool of thread, this condyle is called the trochlea. This condyle that looks like a ball is called the capitulum. So trochlea, capitulum. Then we have a couple of fossae. Um, we have uh, one that is directly above the trochlea and it's a nice big fossa right here that is called the olecranon fossa. Olecranon fossa. That this is the olecranon fossa is found posterior on this bone. So the deep fossa tells you that it's posterior. There is a small fossa above the trochlea anteriorly, and that is called the coronoid fossa. So this is the anterior view, this is the medial view. So this would be a left humerus. There are a couple of rough spots. Here's one and here's one. These rough spots are uh, muscle attachment sites and they are actually above the condyles. See here the condyles are here and then they are actually above them. So these are called epicondyles. Here's the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle. And that pretty well does it for the humerus.